Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be doing some upgrades of the new accessories. I'm also going to be upgrading the badge. Also, I'm going to be showing you how to farm the upgrade materials so you can upgrade super fast and super easy. What stage you should be doing and what's the easiest way to get the accessories. So let's jump right into it. So as you know, the Sky Song Dungeon is out and the accessories, the badge and the weapon is out. So I've been farming for the last couple of days, maybe a week or so. Now, one thing I'm going to say about these accessories is that these accessories are super rare. It is hard to drop. Okay, so to farm these accessories, especially the full set like the ring, the earring and the glove, it takes a long time. But it's super easy if you do stage 8. Now, why do I say stage 8? Now, as you know, every accessory in the game can be purchased with accessory tokens, okay? So, you have the Dayuna Fragments. If you have 80 of these fragments, you can basically purchase any accessory you want, no achievement required. Now, on stage 8, these drop in 20 plus bundles or 17 bundles. On stage 5, it drops like 5 to 7 bundles. I'm not sure. But the difference is very significant. So, doing stage 8 will pay off in the long run because these 20 bundles drop very common. Like, out of 5 runs, you will see it like 2 to 3 times. So, if you can secure that bid, like three or four times then you can get an accessory super easy so basically that's what i did i saved up all my fragments once i got to 80 i didn't spend it on anything i just wait until i see another accessory drop i didn't see any and i got another 80 stack so that is 160 right there once i got to 160 i continued to farm for another 80 pack in case i didn't get another drop now luckily i did get a glove i think and once i got the glove then i spent my accessory tokens on the other two accessories that i didn't have now the reason for this is that you don't want to spend your accessory token the moment you have 80 wait until you only have that one accessory that you can't get then you spend it on that so i'm not the kind of person to rush into accessory upgrades because i have bad experience in the past so i was pretty hesitant doing this but looking at the upgrade materials that i get from minor farming i wasn't really putting in a hundred percent into the farming and i had like 2k of these materials so why not just make use of them while i have the time now these upgrade materials are super super easy to get you get a lot of them from doing your regular normal dungeon runs like the dynamic rewards yes now from doing hard mode you get like 66 i think you can get like the non-tradable ones or the tradable ones so yeah so to farm these things it's really really easy all you need to do is do a demon's bane stage 5 dungeon when you complete the dungeon and you get a wheel ticket the wheel ticket will give you a chance at the red orb or the blue orb now the blue orb stone is for sky song so that resets the dynamic quest for sky song dungeon so the red orb resets the dynamic quest for your normal dungeon so basically you just form the red orbs and then you just spam hard mode now the rewards you get from the dynamic it varies depending on the mode that you're doing so if you're doing easy mode you're not going to get as much upgrade material so try to do hard mode if you have the gear so yeah now another thing is that the sky song reset uh token i don't think you can get it from the other demons being wheel i'm not sure but I normally get that from doing Sky Song with the wheel ticket. Now, a thing that blew my mind with these accessories is even though you have a lot of upgrade materials, it really goes through them super fast. Like, I was shocked to see that it was 100 per click. But it is what it is. What I always try to do is make sure I have different tiers of accessories. So you want to make sure you have a Storm Tide accessory, a Oculus accessory, and a Starcross one. But I got impatient and changed over my Starcross 18 belt to a oculus because of the removal and now they're bringing starcross fragments back so that was a bummer there 
But the reason why you want to do this is you don't want to have clash between your materials for upgrades. When you have three different form of upgrade materials working with, you have more flexibility on your gear, meaning that you can uh, do a couple taps on your Oculus, a couple taps on your Storm Tide, a couple taps on your Starcross without each of them competing. So when the other Storm Tide accessory comes out, I will not be rolling over to them that quickly with the belt, bracelet, and necklace because I want to make sure I'm making use of the Oculus Stones that I'm getting, okay? So you don't want to waste your upgrade material. So if you can divide it between two sets of accessories, then that will be way easier on you. So what I'm trying to do now is basically just go through my enchantment effects and just making sure that my rolls are pretty good. So I'm just going through making sure I got Mystic and if I don't, I try to roll for something better. Now to get more uh, of the reset tokens, you basically need to go to the merchant and just trade in the Dayuna fragments for uh, Storm Tide Essence and the Storm Tide Essence will reset your accessory effect. Okay, now let's talk about the badge. Now for the badge, the badge drops at stage 8. Now you can use tokens to buy the badge from the merchant, but you will need 30 runs of stage 8 and a lot of uh, fragments in order to buy this. So if you do get the badge drop, you can just level that or you can use your mythical badge that you already have already and just upgrade over to the battalion stage. Now, I heard someone tell me that I need to go at least plus six or so on the mythical badge. But to be honest, I didn't go that route because I tried to do like one upgrade and it failed already and it costs a lot. So I just started from plus two. And when I started from plus two, it was super, super easy to upgrade the badge. It was way easier than I expected. The taps you can do on that is crazy. Like it's broken. So here I started with 61 Battalion Essence and you're going to see how far that took me, okay? So you can just watch this. So I don't know if this was just my luck, but I do see a lot of persons out there with high level on their soul badge and they don't have much gear. Now, if you're struggling to upgrade your mythical badge to a certain level just to roll over, this video should make you see how easy it is to upgrade this item unless you're super unlucky. But to farm the essence in order to upgrade your soul badge is super easy. So the Sky Song Dynamic Reward gives you Battalion Essence. And if you do stage 8, you get like uh, three I think and the drop gives you a lot also now what you want to do is you want to do these run get the wheel ticket the wheel ticket will give you the orb to reset your dynamic now each time you reset your dynamic if you're doing stage eight you're gonna get three battalion essence so once you reset your dynamic quest two times that's basically a tap on your soul badge. So it is really, really easy to upgrade this, okay? Now, with that being said, let's talk about Stage 8 Sky Song Isle. Now, this dungeon at Stage 8, it really drops a lot of good items. Now, you know that Stage 8 Abyssal Throne and Chimera Lab, it only drops old, outdated stuff that you don't really need. But this dungeon, it will really drop those weapons. It will drop those soul badge, like... I did like 50 runs of this, and I've seen like about 5 weapons, okay? And I got 2. For my class, I got two pistols, I saw a brazier, I saw a razor, and I saw a sword, I think. And I saw these weapons while farming for my accessory fragments, my battalion essence, and also the orbs to reset the dynamic rewards. So I'm doing multiple different farming just by doing stage 8. So if you're struggling with stage 8, it is best you learn the mechanics. Grab that warlock, grab that breaker, grab that grab, grab that uh, astromancer for that buff. So, yeah.
Also, what I did notice with the battalion weapon is that it gives you skill modifier increased damage. So the true weapon, it doesn't give you skill modifier damage, but with this one it does. Now for certain skills such as, for example, my Machina, you can actually see this when you're comparing the weapon. So obviously if you upgrade to this, you will see a big increase in your DPS. So it is really important that you're farming this before the next update, okay? So stop what you're doing and go farm. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, please like, share, and subscribe, and goodbye.